It didn't happen to me. It happened on TV, the friends I'd see didn't happen to me. I heard the bomb blast, watched the newscast, couldn't ring on the phone, but I never put it in a poem because it wasn't personal. People had come out worse than all, spent the following week in Donegal. Family holiday, age 13, wondering what did it mean, but not connected, not properly affected, just happened to stay a mile and a half away from the single greatest loss of life in 29 years of strife. 29 dead, hundreds wounded, no one knew what it meant. We had the Belfast Agreement, it was over, we were told. Bombs were always cold, mostly they were hoaxes, called in from phone boxes. We got plenty of them for years after the mayhem. Caused water in my dad's eye, though it wasn't his stay. He helped at the leisure centre where they told the relatives to gather. Didn't come back till morning, hugged him while yawning. Then came the TV crews. Any channel you choose, we were on their news for way longer than Rebecca Lewis. And it's still a big story, still causes a furore. And it's ten years from the day and it still hasn't gone away, no matter how much I say it didn't happen to me anyway. And people still ask me who planted it. And to be honest, I haven't the foggiest if it was the continuity area, the Thurgisie County area, the real area, the NLA. It just wasn't okay. And it was worse than that. So in came the diplomat, Tony Blair, wife Sheree, all came flogging finally. In came Boy's own and the Queen. It was the biggest gig we'd ever seen. Manchester, Chelsea, all had a play. Oh, my FC is closed today. Corruption made them fold, or so I'm told. And I still get the oh, my, ah. The where you from, oh, my, ah. They feel sorry for me. They don't see it didn't happen to me. It happened on TV to friends I'd see. It happened to my brother's friend's mum. To my classmate's mum. But my mum never lost a son. Just carried on what had to be done. There wasn't a war that could be won. And people ask me what it was like. Well, I was never scared at night. Do Londoners live in fear of a knife? Guildford is more than four. Birmingham has a greater sum than six. Add Oma to the mix and it's just a bombing. A long drawn out sobbing. But to me, it's open, green. In the countryside, barely a house to be seen. Where to be kind, you be mean. And a good home is always clean. And people forget. At uni, the friends my sister met didn't know Oma should mean bedlam. They were only 11. But people still remember because of 30 seconds of moving picture. Yet, Oma is more than this mess. More than post-traumatic stress. <laughs>